Hi guys, so today's video I am going to be filming how I do my army bun for when I'm in uniform um, for PT and just when I'm in regular uniform. Um, first off, I want to say I do have on like a makeup today. I just filmed a makeup tutorial, so I do have like a lot of makeup. This much makeup is absolutely not acceptable like to wear in uniform just Fair warning, you know, I'm not in uniform right now, but I just, I did want to, um, show you how I do my makeup, or not my makeup, my hair for when I am, um, either doing PT or just in regular uniform like I just said before. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get started. I personally like, um, well, let's just start off with how, what kind of hair I have. I have um very thick hair right now it's not thick because i am obviously it's straightened so uh, it is a lot easier for me to manage when i do straighten it but for the females who are leaving me for basic training um definitely uh practice doing the bun i wish i had practiced a lot more before i left for basic training um i obviously you don't have a straightener or a blow dryer so it is kind of a little bit more tougher um, like after you know wash your hair and stuff and my natural hair came out but um so oddly enough like it wasn't really that that's like I think I just so sweated so much that my hair was like the thickness like the texture changed a whole lot but um on a normal day like I'm back home and everything and when I go to my unit and everything um I can straighten my hair you know blow dry it whatever why is there a flashlight like what the heck I, I don't understand but anyway um so yeah, I wanted to show you what I use I like to use this I like to do like an edge control you can use whatever edge control you want um this is the sleek look smoothing system honestly I just stole this from my sister um and I started using it and I love it this stuff is a lifesaver this is the um soft sheen Carson uh jam and I got the extra hold Honestly, like, I got extra hold and it didn't really work on my hair, like, my natural hair, but it does work on my, like, my hair is just like this. Um, I just got my hair done, like, a week ago, so, um, yeah, obviously, oh shoot, it's easier to, um, my bad, it's easier to manage, obviously, when you're not sweating. I went to basic in the heat of Oklahoma in the middle of summer, so, um, I was sweating. I did get in trouble a lot because, like, right here when I sweat, like, it gets like it puffs up here and I mean I'm there are girls with natural hair but like that like could keep it under control but my hair personally natural is like literally on crack like it's uncontrollable there's nothing I can literally do for it but um if your hair I mean you figure it out like you honestly you figure it out uh, along the way um what else I know I'm like rambling but I just want to make sure that I don't forget anything also gel I do I did have use gel and there's like the gel at the PX like it's literally amazing but I couldn't bring it back home on the plane so I don't have it it was like the herbal essence I think it was like in a purple tube but I couldn't bring it back home on the plane um I do use hairspray um, I have another hairspray over there but I love this hairspray because it like makes it stay more um it's the pink sheen hairspray if you guys know what that is honestly i wouldn't really use that because it's more for like when your hair is like this and it won't it's the stuff makes it like not hard but um just like stay in place more than that um kind of hairspray that one's more like an like a moisturizing hairspray if that makes sense um you will not be able to use aerosol things so in basic or AIT i'm pretty sure you don't you can't use it for AIT um, so get some gel that you like and, um, yeah, get some gel guys. You can't use this stuff. You can't use this kind of things, but, um, when you're back home, obviously you can. Um, what else for us African American girls? I would definitely get a bristle brush. Um, they sell them at the PX or you just get like a small one. Don't bring your favorite. I have like my favorite brush that I really love to use. Um, which is this brush. It is literally life-changing, um, especially when I straighten my hair. Um, get that. Get a bristle brush for sure, especially if you have natural hair. Um, so yeah, I also have, this is what I keep my stuff in right here. This is what I took to basic training. Um, and I brought a small brush. Where is there small? Here it is. This with me. Bring a travel size brush. Um, so with you and if all of my stuff fits in here this brush and this brush and all my other things fit in there too 
Um, so um, yeah, so when you go to basic, don't bring a whole bunch of uh, like big things. If you can find like a travel size things, um, and you can just buy like the rest of it, the PX and everything. Um, so yeah, if you do want to see me like what I pack for basic training and what I like recommend you pack for basic training, I would love to do that because I see a lot of videos on here with females and males packing a crap ton of stuff and you do not need all that sh I mean, whoop, I almost said a bad word, you do not need all that stuff for basic training, like don't pack all that crap, but I will definitely, actually you know what, I'm going to do a video on it because you don't need to pack all that stuff, like that's ridiculous, I mean we obviously didn't know better, I almost packed that much thing, um, I almost packed that much stuff, but don't do that, I will, I'm going to make a video on that, okay? But anyway, also a rat tail comb. I have, oh, here it is. Not a rat tail comb, but a travel size comb is great. Um, depending on what company or battery you go to, um, it depends. Like, my battery was, like, really kind of lenient on the stuff we bought. So anyways, and donuts. I have donuts. This is a small one. I actually don't have the one that I, I've been using lately with me. It's in my house. We're at school. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to make do with this. You can also do, um, a sock bun if you want to. I personally don't like to use the sock buns because you can't put bobby pins in there, um, in the sock buns easily. Um, but if you do want to make a sock bun, um, just use, like, your, like, at basic training. I, I don't know if y'all have scissors or anything to use because people will try to kill each other, guys. So they don't like to give us things that, um... You know, we can harm each other with. <laughs> um, but we did have scissors, I think. You can just ask your drill sergeant or ask your PG to ask your drill sergeant um, to get a, um, some scissors. And you can just cut your ACU socks and then put like a, depending on your hair color, if it's black, put a black sock over it, like your um, ASU sock over it, like one that you don't use. Um, you're not going to use all your ASU socks anyway, so just like roll it over. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me just go ahead and get into the video, because that was a long introduction, I know, but I really wanted to, like, explain it and everything. So, yeah. Alright, so, lately I've been liking to part my hair to the side, so I'm gonna go ahead and, like, get my hair out my hair. Alright, so, I like to part my hair about here. And take my brush. Um, also bobby pins. I, they they have bobby pins at the PX. I would bring like a, a plastic bag, like a little mini plastic baggie of um, bobby pins, um, edge control stuff, and just go like this with my hair. Also on the back, I'll do like this and just kind of smooth it back like so. Alright, and I like to do my bobby pin like this way and I'll just pin back a little bit here sometimes I use it sometimes I don't but I do especially use it when my hair is natural okay and then on this side take a brush and smooth it your hair has to be perfectly smooth back you can't have any flyaways um, nothing sticking out like you will get called out you will literally get called out in front of everyone if your hair is not you know in regulation uh, it's called AR 670-1 if you want to look it up but um, AR 670-1 is basically like I think it's like clothing like how your uniform has to be and how your hair and everything nails and all that stuff I also take it and just, here, let me turn around a little. And then I'll smooth it down this way. Okay, so when you do your bun, excuse how hairy my neck is, get I'm a very hairy person. But anyway, um, your hair cannot go below your collar of your ACUs. Um, in PTs, you are allowed to wear your hair in a ponytail now. Um, they changed the rules where you can, but personally, I like to just go ahead and do my bun. So that all I have to do is kind of fix it a little bit before um, I change into ACUs after PT. So just pull my hair in a ponytail. And I like to go about here. And make sure it's nice and tight. And make sure it has to be 
centered and perfect so yeah and yes I say perfect because this is the army we're talking about so sometimes I will um, take a bobby pin and I'll do it today and I will put it to the side um, also make sure that your bobby pins are the same color as your hair so if you have black hair like me you obviously use black bobby pins because that's a blend in with your hair if you have brown hair they have brown bobby pins and blonde they do have um, bobby pins for you guys also you can't have like crazy colored hair and stuff so um, anyways you have to have a one tone hair so they will make you dye your hair if you don't I'm like looking at my monitor right now but they will have a they will make you dye your hair and pay like 70 bucks to dye your hair so just do it before you leave all right so I'm gonna use this bun right here this is like one of my smaller buns I don't really like to use this that much but you do just do do with what you have um, yeah just use gel like for girls who do have hair like back here I usually get it shaved Anyway, so put it through there, and then I'll just like hold my head over like that, and make sure you have your hair tie ready, and just cover up the bun. It's really not that hard, but it is kind of like, I don't know, just make sure you practice it before you leave, because and then just I take my hair tight make sure that depending on how thick your hair is since I do have thicker hair um, usually I will um, use a tighter hair tie like a newer hair tie um, to secure your bun go around and your whole bun needs to be covered nothing needs to be showing through take your bun over or your hair tie over the bun and then I'll do two and today I'll just do three that and you can just use your fingers to like navigate to your hair so your hair can like cover up the um, bun. But if you do have a different color bun under your hair, then that's uh, like that's a different color than your hair. You do want to make sure that um, you cover it up. So the excess hair that I have here, I'll, I usually just take it and like twist it. I'll just twist it like this it around the bun like around this right here and then take a bobby pin I like to use the bobby pins um, that look like this like sometimes after I have my hair it doesn't look oops go and focus it won't um it's like thicker like I kind of stretched it out a little bit compared to like the flatter ones the ones that I haven't used that much if that makes sense I don't know if that makes sense but it's like this and just Pin it down. It is that simple. Alright, and then I will go back and fix my hair. So I'm going to take this pin, bobby pin out. And I will smooth it out a little bit. Just make sure it's nice and tight. Your bun needs to be nice and tight. Your hair needs to be nice and tight. Um, sometimes, honestly, you're going to have flyaways. I'm just going to be honest with you at basic training and AIT. I mean, it's, sometimes it really is unavoidable. Um, like, my bun right here. So, and you don't have hairspray. Like, I mean, I have hairspray so I can use it. It's... They're not going to like knock you for every, if you, it, I mean it does depend on who you have, but I mean sometimes it really is unavoidable. So yeah, that is how I would do my bun like this. Oh, I kind of noticed here. Um, also like ask your battle buddies, ask your battle buddies to like check your hair. And there will be some females there that know how to do hair that will be more than happy help you and do your hair for you we had one female like she would just get her hair done every day by one she would just do her bun for her and you will have battles like that so yeah that is how I would do this one make sure 
it honestly can be hot as high as you really want it it just can't you just have to make sure it doesn't um interfere with your headgear and it can't go lower than your um your uh collar like on your acus um so yeah that is well, let me get another i would actually bobby pin that down so we have two bobby pins in there and you'll figure it out i mean everyone does that's obviously does at some point so yeah um yeah that is how i would like when i part my hair to the side um that's how i would do it then i'll kind of play with it like this kind of smooth it down a little bit but i would go hit it with some hairspray like, like hit it with some hairspray also with my bun I'll hit my bun with some hairspray smooth it down and this hairspray, I love it. It's so great. All right. So now the next bun I want to show you is, I mean, it's obviously self-explanatory, but I just wanted to make sure, like, if you wanted to see it, um, just two different ways. Um, some females do like to um, tie their hair, like their bangs. If you have bangs, you, your bangs do have to be back, but... I can kind of get away with it because I can smooth it down and pin it. <coughs> but you do, you can't have your bangs obviously hanging out or anything like that. Okay, so in basic training, I use this one. Sometimes you just have to make do with what you do. It's the army. Like, um, I don't know why they didn't carry these. It really doesn't make any sense, but I mean, they didn't, so. Um, I ended up having to use this like the whole entire time through basic training and I mean sometimes I still use it and you just you do what you got you do what you have to do so anyway I'm just going to show you how I when I slick my hair all the way back um, usually I would go and start using this the jam here um, and do this just Um, like I said before, if your hair is not squared away, you will get called out for it. One female got called out in DFAC in front of everyone, and she was like a new private, and it was like our, I think it was, we were on week eight, and they were like on week week one, but like, we were literally, a drill, one of our drill sergeants called her out in DFAC, and it was hilarious. Like, you will get laughed at, and you will get in trouble, so, but you... <laughs> You will get in so much trouble. That I will know. That was like a good, crazy moment at basic training. Like it was so funny. But uh, I'll take a bobby pin and like pin back like the sides. My side, the sides of my hair, like where my bangs are. Like that is where I usually will pin my hair back. Depending on what company you're in, some drill sergeants don't allow you to part your hair to the side. Um, I don't think mine, ours did. Um, after a while. I mean, I, I always have my hair pulled back like this at basic training, but, um, so yeah. So a way that I would kind of measure out, like, where you want your bun to be, like your ponytail, I would, like, where the nape of your neck is, like, right here, like, you know where, like, it indents a little bit? That's kind of how I measure mine. Sometimes I'll put it there, sometimes I'll put it, like, a little bit above it. Right now I'm putting it a little bit above that. This crappy thing, sometimes I'll... I'll pull it and like kind of shape it up and play with it a little bit. I'll take it and kind of tussle with it a little bit. Easy enough. And I will cover it up. And this this um, bun is a little bit harder to kind of manage and deal with. But like I said before, sometimes you just have to do what you got to do. And then I'll take the flyaways or the leftover pieces and wrap it around. Fun. Like so. And pin it. Make sure that you practice your bun before you leave. Um, because you really don't want to um, be looking a hot mess. Seriously. You don't want to get noticed, especially like the first week. You'd, in a negative way at least. Some hairspray. Oh, I have like a little hanging out. And 
Um, so yeah. So when you're going to training, like I said before, you're not allowed to use aerosol things. So get a good gel. Bring your favorite gel that you really like. Um, that's fine. Uh, I would bring like the smallest container if possible. Um, because if you're depending on if you're riding on a plane or not, you're not going to be allowed to, um, you know, have hair gel. I mean, or hairspray. Uh, or not hairspray. You're not going to be able to have like a big container of that, obviously, because you're riding on a plane. Also, you don't have to be in the army to um, wear this. Like, you can have a nice slicked back bun. Um, sometimes I do rock the um, buns occasionally, like on a normal day. Like, uh, I just wanted to show you like how I do my hair. And also, if you want, um, I do want to do a video on how I style my hair in the military fun um when my hair is natural um it is a little bit more harder to like keep up so i could do that because i know some of us black girls have some it's a struggle guys it really is a struggle um if you do have any questions feel free to like you know leave some comments down below i'm more than happy to help and answer some questions as best as i can um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys